What are bearish order block? Order blocks are similar to the order flow in appearance, and have the same function, but the only difference is that order blocks are made from a single candle. Straightforward definition of an order block is given as Last buying candle before a selling candle is called bearish order block. There are two basic rules for a valid order block. Rule number one, price must take out previous candle high in a bearish order block. Rule number two, there must be a proper imbalance or a fair value gap. Remember, candle color and shape do not matter. Let's see the example. Apply rule number one. Price must take out previous candle high in a bearish order block. In our example candle 1 has taken out the high of previous candle X. Apply rule number 2. There must be a fair value gap or imbalance. As you know for a fair value gap we take 3 candles, now take candle 1, candle 2, and candle 3. In order to find a bearish fair value gap, there must be a gap, or price difference between the low of candle 1 and the high of candle 3. Draw the horizontal lines from the low of candle 1, and the high of candle 3, there you see a price gap. Rule number 1 and rule number 2 are applies. Now draw a bearish order block at candle 1. Very simple isn't it? See another example for a bearish order block for better understanding. Apply both rules as previously. Candle 1 has taken the high of candle Y, rule number is fine but there isn't any gap between the candle 1 and candle 3. If this scenario appears, we will shift our order block to the next candle in order to meet the requirement of a fair value gap. In this case we will take candle 2, candle 3, and candle 4. There you see a fair value gap between candle 2 and 4. In this way we will mark our order block from candle 2 instead of candle 1, because we couldn't see a gap in candle 1 and candle 3. What are bullish order blocks? Simple definition of a bullish order block. Last selling candle before a buying candle is called bullish OB. There are two basic rules for a valid bullish OB. One there must be a proper imbalance or a FVG. Two price must take an out previous candle high or low. Apply rule number one. Price must take out previous candle low in a bullish order block. In our example candle 1 has taken out the low of previous candle X. Apply rule number 2. There must be a fair value gap or imbalance. Take candle 1, candle 2, and candle 3. In order to find a bullish fair value gap, there must be a gap or price difference between the high of candle 1 and the low of candle 3. Draw the horizontal line from the high of candle 1, and the low of the candle 3, there you see a price gap. Rule number 1 and rule number 2 are applies. Now draw a bullish order block at candle 1. See another example for a bullish order block for better understanding. Apply both rules as previously. Candle 1 has taken the low of candle Y, rule number is fine. But there isn't any gap between the candle 1 and candle 3. If this scenario appears, we will shift our order block to the next candle in order to meet the requirement of a fair value gap, in this case we will take candle 2, candle 3, and candle 4. There you see a fair value gap between candle 2 and 4. In this way we will mark our order block from candle 2 instead of candle 1, because we couldn't see a gap in candle 1 and candle 3. I hope now you better understanding of order blocks. Wish you best of luck in trading.
Thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, and found it valuable, please consider subscribing to our channel for more updates, and exciting content in the future. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, so you never miss out on our latest uploads. Thank you again for being a part of our community, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.